Welcome back to channel. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. In today's video, we're diving into the top 10 best open source hacking apps and tools for Android in 2024. Whether you're a security researcher, an ethical hacker, or just curious about network security, these tools will give you the edge you need. We're talking about some seriously powerful software here capable of everything from network analysis to penetration testing. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. This video is for educational purposes only. Use these tools responsibly and ethically, and always make sure you have permission before testing on any network. All right, let's get started. First up, we've got Zonti, a mobile penetration testing toolkit developed by Zimperium. This app is a beast when it comes to network analysis, allowing you to assess the risk levels of any network you're connected to. Think of Zonti as your own personal network security audit in your pocket. You can map out devices, identify vulnerabilities, and even simulate attacks to see how the network holds up. Zonti's interface is surprisingly user-friendly for such a powerful tool. You get a clear overview of all the devices on your network, and you can easily drill down into each one to see its open ports, running services, and potential vulnerabilities. One of the things I love about Zonti is its MITM, or man-in-the-middle, capabilities. With MITM attacks, you can intercept and analyze the data that's being transmitted between devices on the network. Overall, Zonti is an incredibly powerful and versatile tool that deserves a spot in any ethical hacker's toolkit. Next up, we have Hackode. And just like the name suggests, this app is all about giving you a collection of tools for penetration testing and ethical hacking, all bundled into one convenient package. We're talking about a wide range of tools here, from port scanners and network sniffers to exploit databases and security feeds. One of the standout features of Hackode is its simplicity. The interface is clean and intuitive, making it easy to find the tool you need even if you're new to the world of ethical hacking. Each tool comes with a brief description to help you understand its purpose, and there are even tutorials available within the app to guide you through using some of the more advanced features. The app is regularly updated with new tools and exploits, so you can be sure you're always equipped with the latest techniques. With its extensive toolkit and user-friendly interface, Hackode is a must-have for anyone interested in the world of ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Let's talk about DroidSheep, an app for session hijacking on Wi-Fi networks. DroidSheep exploits vulnerabilities in how websites handle user sessions. It sniffs out session IDs stored in cookies over Wi-Fi. Without HTTPS encryption, DroidSheep can capture these IDs and impersonate users. Attackers can access accounts without knowing passwords. Understanding these attacks helps us protect our data, use strong passwords, enable two-factor authentication, and connect to trusted Wi-Fi networks. Now, if you're into cybersecurity, you've probably heard of Nmap, the legendary network scanning tool. And if you haven't, well, let me introduce you to Nmap for Android, which brings the power of Nmap to your mobile device. Just like its desktop counterpart, NNMAP for Android allows you to discover hosts and services on a network. You can think of it like a digital map maker for your network, revealing all the devices connected to it. Want to see what devices are running on your home network? NMAP can do that. Need to identify open ports on a server? NMAP's got you covered. What makes NMAP so powerful is its versatility. Whether you're a network administrator, a security researcher, or just a tech enthusiast, NMAP for Android is an essential tool to have in your arsenal. Let's talk about Wi-Fi Kill, an app that gives you the power to control Wi-Fi connections on your network. Now, before you start thinking about cutting off your roommate's internet access, let's be clear. Wi-Fi Kill is intended for ethical hacking and security testing purposes only. Imagine this, you're connected to a public Wi-Fi network and you want to see if you can disrupt someone else's connection. With Wi-Fi Kill, you can do just that. It allows you to selectively block internet access to specific devices on the network, effectively kicking them offline. By simulating a denial of service attack, you can see how your network holds up and identify any weaknesses that need to be addressed. Wi-Fi Kill can also be used for more benign purposes like managing bandwidth on your home network. Always use this tool responsibly and respect the privacy of others. Up next is Csploit, an advanced IT security tool for Android. 
CSploit is a favorite among ethical hackers and security professionals. It focuses on local network exploitation. It excels at identifying and exploiting network vulnerabilities. This makes it powerful for penetration testing. Features include a port scanner, MITM framework, and Metasploit. Metasploit integration offers a cyber weapons arsenal. It also includes network analysis, Wi-Fi cracking, and packet crafting. Use Csploit responsibly and ethically. Only test systems you have permission to. In the right hands, it's invaluable for improving security. Now let's talk about NetHunter, a platform developed by the legends over at Offensive Security, the same team behind the renowned Kali Linux distribution. NetHunter isn't just an app, it's a complete penetration testing platform that transforms your Android device into a powerful hacking machine. We're talking about a full-fledged penetration testing environment complete with a custom kernel, a suite of pre-installed hacking tools, and even support for wireless adapters. NetHunter essentially turns your Android device into a pocket-sized Kali Linux machine, giving you the power to perform sophisticated security assessments from anywhere. One of the things that makes NetHunter so unique is its focus on mobile-specific attacks. It includes tools for exploiting vulnerabilities in mobile operating systems, applications, and even cellular networks. But NetHunter isn't just about mobile hacking. It also includes a wide range of tools for network analysis, web application testing, and even hardware hacking. For those who know how to use it responsibly, NetHunter is an incredible resource. Let's dive into the world of remote administration with Androrat, a tool that allows for the control of Android devices remotely. Androrat works by establishing a connection between the attacker's device and the target Android device. Once this connection is established, the attacker can remotely access a wide range of features and data on the target device. Think of it like having complete control over someone's phone or tablet without them even knowing. You could access their contacts, read their messages, listen to their calls, track their location, and even activate their camera or microphone, all remotely. Now, I know this sounds incredibly invasive, and it is. That's why it's crucial to understand that tools like AndroRat can be incredibly dangerous in the wrong hands. However, in the context of ethical hacking and security testing, AndroRat can be a valuable tool for understanding the vulnerabilities of Android devices and developing countermeasures to protect against such attacks. By understanding the tools and techniques used by malicious actors, we can develop better defenses and protect ourselves from their attacks. Now let's move on to Termux, an app that might not scream hacking at first glance. But trust me, it's a hacker's best friend. Termux is a terminal emulator for Android. Think of your Android device as a computer running a graphical user interface, or GUI. But underneath that, GUI is a command line interface, or CLI, where you can interact with the operating system using text-based commands. Termux gives you access to that powerful command line interface right on your Android device. And not just any command line interface, but one based on Linux, the same operating system that powers countless servers and devices around the world. You can install and run a vast library of Linux tools and utilities, many of which are specifically designed for penetration testing and security assessments. Termux essentially transforms your Android device into a versatile hacking platform, limited only by your imagination and your knowledge of Linux commands. And finally, we come to the big guns, the heavy artillery of the ethical hacking world, Metasploit for Android, this is the mobile version of the legendary Metasploit framework, a platform so powerful, so versatile, and so widely used in the security community that it needs no introduction. Metasploit is a penetration testing framework that provides you with an arsenal of exploits, payloads, and tools to test the security of systems. It's the go-to platform for ethical hackers, security researchers, and penetration testers worldwide. And now, with Metasploit for Android, you can unleash this power from the palm of your hand. You can scan for open ports, identify running services, and then launch targeted exploits to see if you can gain access to those devices. Using Metasploit for Android against systems or devices that you don't own or have permission to test is illegal and unethical. With that said, Metasploit for Android is an incredible tool for learning about cybersecurity, experimenting with different exploits, and understanding how to protect systems from real-world attacks. And there you have it, our top 10 best open source hacking apps and tools for Android in 2024. Remember, 
These tools are powerful and should only be used for ethical purposes. Always respect privacy and legality when using these tools. From network analysis to penetration testing, these apps provide a glimpse into the world of ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting your journey, these tools can help you enhance your skills and knowledge. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech and hacking content. Drop a comment below on which tool is your favorite or if there's a tool we missed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.